And guess what? I had a friend come over today. She wanted to try out messing around with some resin and making those waves. So she came over and we decided to go with hearts since Valentine's Day is coming up. It's right around the corner. So right here she makes some art resin that we used with um, some sand that I had. So and then she's putting a little bit of um, little... I forgot the word for it. It's like when I, I do not want to record this over. So little stones. There we go. <laughs> she was putting little stones on there. It looks really nice. So as we were going through, even though I did the voice over here, I was explaining to her every step of the process. So we went with three colors. It's going to be at the end with just resin. Can't remember the name of that one, but it'll be at the end for you guys to look at. So just resin paste, and it's actually great to work with. So we went with light, dark, and medium dark so this one's the darker one that she put on so and I was telling her not to put too close to the edges because as we heat this up it's going to spread and the color choices she picked was this perfect love it and it was nice being able to able to walk her through all this um all these little steps and giving her information that I've learned so far so I really enjoyed doing this with her and I even we even did the back we taped it up with that um, frog tape I have a video if you want to know about how I do the frog tape on the back, it helps out a lot as far as with the drips or um, easy cleanup when you're done. So these are the colors we're going with. I was actually doing another one on the other side. And for some reason, the video kind of is messed up. I couldn't get my side for some reason. So, But at the end, I did include a little video here so you can see both the hearts that we did. So right here... She is putting a little bit of clear in there to keep them trying, hopefully, to keep it separated. I didn't want it touching her little stones there too much. She's cleaning up the sides, which she did a very well job. Very good job. And I like how she's like cleaning it up, taking her time. And this is really important too here. We're like spreading them together so they don't have like three separate areas. So you can want you want to blend them. So I was telling her, don't be afraid. Blend it. You can do anything with a resin. You can't really mess up with it. So you can play around with it as much. And I think coming up here soon, we'll actually tell her she wanted the darker um, a little bit further down. So I told her maybe she, we should just tilt it. So here we are tilting it. And it's spreading down. But it looks beautiful. I love the color she chose. She chose. And remember... We're always going to use the torch. She torched it before she started doing this. Um, This is a little air gun. So she's using it just to mix her colors. And here we go with that titanium white to start making the waves. So really important to make sure you use the specific blower, the one that has a little nozzle. You'll see the, you see the nozzle in there. Kind of sped it up a little bit for you. So you heat it up first and then blow out. See, that looks really nice. She's doing a good job for the first timer. I've been doing this for a long time. Well, less than a year. So here's the final product. I love the color choices she picked. Look at her waves. She's got lacing in there. Beautiful. I love the stones. And here's mine. These are my, I used, actually I got these shells from a beach in Tampa when I went to go visit my brother. So I love those shells. I just put them right on. They look beautiful. Good lacing in there. Actually, this is really cute. I love it. And here's what we used. Just resin paste. So these are the three colors we used. Along with a titanium white. And I'm going to show that here at the end. So thanks for watching. I enjoy showing her. And we had fun. We were in the art room for a little while.